Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Golf Club 2. So, the previous video there we actually I showed you how to build a better um, training facility. So let's go into course designer. Uh, I've called it like a test range, I think that's the best name for it. Because that's, that's basically what it is. So, when you open this test range, you'll always have it flat, perfectly flat, no undulations, nothing built into the, the, the course, and you'll never save this feature again. Because basically you're gonna you're gonna custom you're gonna customize the, the, the test facility to your means or use it for a certain scenario that you want to do. Now I'm gonna this video could be like ten hours long explaining a lot of this stuff. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like maybe like three scenarios or something. So the first one I'm gonna do is the chip range. Now this is your three chip bays here, 80, 60, and 30 yards. So we'll probably go to B2, which is a 60 yard test range. Uh, now you could hit a tee shot, but these tee shots are, it's not really something you're gonna do to be honest. So we'll actually go and we'll pick the patch of grass here. So we can actually customise it. As you see there, that's a 60 yard shot. So let's actually play a 60 yard shot. Play test and you always play, play for, you can either play the hole or you play from here. So we'll play we'll play from this, this spot. This is gonna give us a 60 yard shot here. And I mean we could we could Theoretically, we can actually do a lot of shots. Let's just play the, the, the standard pitch shot here. I'm maybe going to aim a bit here because I usually tend to hit a draw. Gotch back swing, double. So here we go. Let's see where this ends up. Yeah, I pulled it just a little bit. That goes 58. So that's a 55 yard pitch. And you see there that it rolls out 3 yards. So what we can actually do here, we can rewind the shot. Just by pressing the option button and going down to the that, that option. So I can see that, that I tend to hit shots, I tend to favour the draw. So let's do that shot again. This time we probably aimed it better. There you go. Almost online. So again that went 57. So let's let's rewind again. So to hit this shot probably I'm not saying get it in the hole, but we could probably actually be close to doing it. Uh, we actually need to deal off that touch. So I'm just going to put it down that. Let's hit that again. And then you can see it actually went just a touch, touch too much. And now the shot modifier is quite, it's, it's quite finicky. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. So let's maybe just go. Tiny amount, let's go with that. And that's right on the money. I mean, we could play this till we get it in the hole. But I'm pretty happy at that stand. And it shows you where, I mean, I, I do play two clubs, so if you play like standard clubs, you might have a different um, set. So that's a pitch shot. So let's go back out. And you can play different types of shots in there, you could hit. I mean you could try different styles of shots, punch, um, try a chip from that distance. It's maybe not advisable, but um, there's a lot of things you can do. So I'm gonna re well, I'm actually meant to edit. Now before I go into the other tutorials that I've got or scenarios, uh, I'll show you how you can edit. So say for instance, I've got player clubs, so Example hole number four, which is the 85 yard uh, tee shot, which is a lob wedge. Now, in fact, no, I'll go to a club that I know. Um, I'll go to the three wood because I know that the three wood is. Um, that's not it. Where is it? Right, that's it there. So, this is the three wood bay, bay 15. 255 yards, that's a 3-wood. Now say for instance, 
say I change back to, to player clubs and I, I said, right, this, I could just keep it the same. There's not much difference, but if I wanted to move this green, for instance, just highlight the, the, the pin flag there, select move, and I can either move the hole, move the pin, or what we want to do is move green. And I can just bring that, dial that back to 245. And there you go. Press a button, and that's has got a 245 hole. It's as simple as that, and that's how easy it is to, to modify. So I'm going to uh, uh, undo that. I want it to go back to its original. It's kind of not undoing. Right, simple. I'm going to move it. I'll just move it back. And I'll move it back to 255. Press X, that's it done. So, um, we just did the, the pitch type shot there, but what I could do, if I so desired, if we go down the bays here to like, bay 1, I could practice, I could practice a 62 yard bunker shot. Do I want that bunker shot closer? Well, I could, I could easily drop a bunker, um, one, one, create surface, bunker, brush. Can customize the shape of the bunker. I could do a square. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. I could select that. I could move it round. So if I placed it there, it'd be an eight-yard bunker shot. I could practice fifteen. I could practice any yardage of bunker shot I want, anywhere around this. I could do it in the next hole. It, it doesn't really matter because you're coming from. You're basically just performing a, a bunker shot. So I could hit any bunker shot I desire. Uh, we come out of this. I could also hit a shot from the rough. I could actually go longer. I could use this part. You know, I mean, I could use this tree here. I could try and maybe. In fact, let's just let's just have this crazy scenario. Right, there's the pen. Where is the pen? There's a pen there. So let's put this right slap bang behind. Okay, let's just for instance, let's just drop it right there. We test from here. Now, in this scenario, we probably would have to. Well, I don't even think I probably actually gave myself <coughs> an impossible shot here. So we would definitely have to punch. Uh, so let's go seventy-five yards. Let's just. Um, it's not really going to give us the height. I don't think. Select punch again. So you can actually see that that height is probably perfect, but that's going to go 130 yards. So I'm going to have to have a partial shot here. So let's just let's just eyeball this. Okay, sun goes to there. Let's maybe hit it. Oh. Half shot. Kind of worked. We kind of got it out around the tree. Now it didn't go off to the full distance. So let's let's take that back. And I mean, these are shots that you probably would never hit. But if you do, at least you know that. You know, when you come out the wedges here, we slight punch. In fact, that's probably actually going to go under it. That's probably better. Let's put a bit of bend on it. 121, so we maybe need to go to maybe back a bit there. Not maybe a bit more. But again, you get to see that we see how the shot rolls out. We see how far it lands away from the hole. Does it roll near the hole? No, not really. But that's the kind of scenarios that you can do. That's like a that's like an extreme shot. But you can actually practice that until you get the technique absolutely bang on. Um, so let's go up the bays. Let's. Um, I'm trying to keep this kind of quick because I, I I could go in depth in this video, but to be honest, if I did that, I could be here. This video could be like ten hours long. So let's go to. Let's see what we got. 
So that's going to be number six. This is the gap wedge, I believe. So let's go, let's play test, play hole. <clears throat> so this is a 115 yard shot. Pretty standard, there's, there's no wind, flat green. It's basically, we should be popping this right next to the hole. So again, I do hit a drop. So I am going to aim slightly to the right of the flag. Perfect tempo, slight draw, it's not a huge amount. It's going to come towards the, the hole there. 116 yards. That's that's your basically your killing zone clubs. You, your wedge shots, you really should get it close. So is the sound still coming through? Yeah, because I had a problem in the last video I made the sound cut out for some reason. So let's try that again. I, I need to get slightly more uh, drawing the ball. That's better. That's that this should be absolutely plum bob with the hole. There you go, look at that. Bang. Absolutely stone dead. Now obviously you can't change the wind. I, I think it would actually be quite a good feature if you could change the, the wind and also the, the direction. And I think it's one element of the game that they really should have put in. Okay, course design. You're designing a hole that's meant to be played this certain way. But if you have a plus or a minus wind, it, it, can't, it, it basically dictates where you might actually make a bit more fair weight and make another option. It'd be good to know that distance. You can calculate it in your head, I suppose. Um, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, that's like a standard wedge shot. So it, it lets you know how you hit as well. But I'd quite like to see a bit of a kind of wind change. I think it'd be quite good. <clears throat> but you should really know how to play in the wind anyway and elevation change and all that stuff. Now, you could add elevation. I'll, in fact, I'll show you how to do it. I'm not really gonna. Um, I'm not really gonna do it because it's a bit long-winded. But um, so bay four there. There's bay four. That's our uh, eighty-five. That's b b six. <coughs> b six is hundred and fifteen. So say for instance, I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's pretty easy. See, I want to make an elevated 115 shot. In fact, I'll probably just play it. Um, so we go to Sculpt Land. Landscape Flatten. Now, you don't need to change to a square tool. The, the, the circle tool is probably actually good enough. Make it maybe even a little bit weird. So say we want to hit... That's a 5 foot elevation. We could go to... 12, we could go to 22, I mean, for, for this purpose, let's just go extreme here, so let's go to 60 foot, there we go, get it back, that'll do, 60 foot, 1 inch, let's build it, so here, here we go, this is like an extreme um, and it actually just shows you that the, the elevation change, it's, it's actually quite uh, stark in contrast uh, with the green. So let's back out this um, and go to play test and play hole. So what we're going to have now is a 60 foot elevation change, which funnily enough is uh, 3 foot is basically um, a yard. Basically, that that's the, that's a rough calculation. So this is actually a twenty foot elevation. So it's basically um, twenty yards. Well, sixty foot elevation. If you calculate that, it's ten ten yards would be would be the thirty. So it's a twenty yard change. So basically, uh, if you actually if you do a tee shot, if you actually just visualise it with your fingertip and say you've maybe got like a table, I, I've got my television there so I can go, so a, a 150 yard shot, you, you do the, the arc and you land. Now say for instance that tee's higher, so you hit, your 115 points going to be there but now the green's below you so it's going to carry more. Um, 
So what we need to do is take take some off this. So it's basically twenty. So we're gonna have to hit probably. We're probably gonna have to hit the hundred. We're probably actually gonna have to take a bit off it. Just a little bit. Again, same principle here. We've got actually a slight wind. I'm not surprised at, at this height. So I'm gonna hit the draw shot again. Shots away, good tempo, get the draw. How's it gonna finish? So we're a little bit short. I hit 108 yards. So let's rewind that. Let's let's pick let's pick a hundred. Let's just go and pick the hundred. Again, same shot, a little bit of draw here off the off the tee. Again, perfect shot. We're drilled into that that uh, draw shot, and there you go. Now, the key to this, and this is why this is called a test range. I've just, I mean, it's perfect wind conditions, flat green, but we've actually simulated a sixty foot rise, and we've hit a hundred yard shot, fifteen yards. Now, one of the tricky elements in this game, like small. Uh, Elevation changes are not really that that hard to predict, but basically, uh, quite a high elevation change is, is quite a difficult shot to play because there's a slightly more uh, kind of variable stuff involved in it. But we can see there that that was actually only fifteen foot. We needed to adjust that, so I think that in itself is quite interesting. It's quite a weird looking T there. Right, so let's go back. Let's edit course. And let's just reverse that. Let's just do a polar opposite. Now, I'm trying to think if I can actually. Right. Can I actually take this away? Can I undo that? Has it worked? Right, it's not worked. So I'll go to the next bay because remember we're gonna we're gonna flatten this at the end and we're gonna go back to our default practice area. Don't save this. So let's pick bay number seven, which is a hundred and thirty yard shot basically. So it's just the exact same sculpt land. And what we're gonna actually do here is we'll probably make this this circle bigger. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna raise this. Ooh. Yeah, that's when mm. oh that's it now I honestly don't know why that went that cut right so we'll, we'll raise this up 60 foot so it's just the polar opposite of the previous hole where the T was higher um, we could sink the T down but that we, we can't do that but we can raise the green so this now is um, a scenario where we're playing up so let's play the hole so hole seven now instead of being a 60 foot drop is a 60 foot rise now again this is just using it, it, it's just a test bed we can do anything we want on this course so here we go 60 foot rise so let's just take the principle from the last hole and this is where test test clubs and doing like test range theories on clubs comes into to practice here. Um, so the last one we got 15, that, that was the difference between the club that we should have hit that yardage but we, we moved it down to 100 yards and we got that, we got it perfect. So does that mean that we're going to have to hit this 145 yards? Well, I'm just, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the 142, keep it, keep it simple. Again, I'm going to aim to the, the, the right of the flag because I hit the draw shot. Mm, not a bad shot, not as much drop. Bang, 127, 28 yards. So that was from 142. So we're actually, I mean, physically we're actually only 10 foot away. <clears throat> so you see there's actually slight variations in certain shots. So let's rewind this. So... Theoretically here, if we add in some loft on this 142 yard shot, that's basically what's going to give us, right, let's just try and judge this, so let's de-loft it, 
I think that about there, I think that'll be absolutely bang on. Glitch. So you can see the idea behind this test range. I mean, I mean that's almost bang on. It's actually went too far. So it actually shows you just how far your shot modification bar goes. Uh, there's not a lot to really have a dramatic effect in the ball. So let's go and select the 142 again. And let's just let's just do that. That's like a tiny amount. Absolutely minuscule. Let's hit the shot again. Perfect tempo. We're actually stroking the ball quite well. And that is going to be absolutely dialed in. There you go. Almost perfect. It's within a, a, a what I call a, a bucket lid. It's, a, it's within four foot. So that's just did elevation drops and basically I can do that for any length of shot. It becomes a little bit different when you go for a longer iron because obviously the the, 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 the ball flight's a bit lower. It's a bit more of a kind of lower parabolic type of shot. Um, but we can actually test range this. Now we'll just leave that stuff in. Um, now we could go to B13 here. I call it B. Because it basically is, in a, in a sense. This is the 209. <clears throat> Again, we could elevate this T. And then we could actually go and elevate the green. So we could actually run this test scenario on the, the four hybrid shot. But basically, what I, what I want to do next is B12. Now, B12 is the five iron. That's 192 yards. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to come out of this and then I'm going to show you how to change the, the green settings. So if we go to course settings, and we go to um, the green settings, we can actually change the firmness. So we'll keep it, we'll do the green speed, we'll take the green speed right down to 4.5, which I think is 101 foot when, when you're playing it. Uh, and we'll change that. Now we can change the firmness. Now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep the, 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 the firmness at default. So let's X out of here. Let's play test this hole. Let's play hole. Now this is going to be a 5 iron. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to write these down. Um, so we should, theoretically we should get 192 yards carry. Now, the green speed is going to be the slowest it can be. Now, I'm going to aim slightly to the right here. And we're going to hit that shot out. Perfect. Okay, it's went almost straight, to be honest. But let's watch the, the carry distance. 192, that's perfect. Now, let's see how far it rolls out. 201 yards, right? So, and that's on 101 foot of green. Now, I did this test earlier and it's kind of maybe worked out the same but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the test scenario so let's go edit course and let's change the course settings up or the green setting so before we did it with a soul green so let's go to green settings and let's try this on uh, I think 8.5 is top so let's maybe cut that, let's do, this is actually quite hard to get it, let's maybe go, I think it's 5 point, it's 5.5 default, let's maybe go to 6.5, that's kind of roughly in the middle, again let's go back, um, but I need to edit holes because I'm in the middle of nowhere, so let's go back to B12, which is the 5 iron scenario, let's go back, play test, play hole, <coughs> so, <clears throat> have a little drink here. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm basically going to hit the same club, same five iron. Probably hit it the same. Move to the, the right. Try and hit my draw. It doesn't really matter if I don't get the proper draw. Right, let's rewind that. That's so. I don't want that. <coughs> I want to have it as as properly as as close to what I hit the first shot. 
perfect, perfect, good. Right, that's that's ideal. Let's see how far this goes. Now this is going to roll further. So one nine two, that's standard. Right, two o one, two o two, two hundred and three. So mid settings, we get another two yards. So let's go back. Edit course and and that. This is what I do. I mean, you can't just practice here. You can't just hit shots. You can, you can actually do it whatever you want. I'm showing you different kind of like scenarios that you can use. So let's go back into course settings and change the green. Now let's go up to the fastest green speed you can get, which is 8.5, which equals 187 foot on your, your, your green indicator when you play the, the course. So back, edit holes, back to B12. So here we go, B12. Back, play test, play hole. So I can actually see that my test results from my, my previous are just slightly different, maybe. But there's not much in it. So let's, again, we're going to hit the same shot. Go to the right. Set up for a, a draw. We don't get much of a draw, but it's perfect, perfect. So 192 yards. And this should roll out a little bit further. 205, yep. So 205. So basically what I've done there is I've played three different green speeds and hit the same five iron, pretty much the same shot, perfect tempos. And basically we've got the carry distance we've established is 192. That's what it says it, it does and that's where it goes. But the rollout distance has went from 201 for the slow screen and 205 for the fastest screen speed. Now what that actually tells me in TGC2, in fact I might even have some of my old test results. This is a book that I keep all my I jot stuff down. It can be pretty much anything. Um, is that on? Wait to see it because I did greens. Which we go... Um, So that was normal. So a normal 5 iron TGC2 went, in fact they've actually upped, because it's in probably in two clubs, it went 180, 189. So that was 9 yards of a rollout distance. So they've actually, I mean, hmm, they've kind of went the same distance. So basically, uh, the result of this test here is is basically we have um, 201 yards for the slowest and 205 so that's 4 yards of a difference now that can be quite important if you're playing a, a, a course and you might need to adjust slightly uh, obviously this is perfectly flat greens you know you're going to be hitting into a green that's got maybe a, a, an uphill landing zone downhill, side hill you know there could be all different types of scenarios so that's the, the kind of club and the green speed change we've done. Um, so let's go to another bay. I'm just really trying to cover a lot here. Um, there's just a lot of things that you can do. I've, I did my putt tutorial. Uh, so let's edit holes. Let's go to... That's a driving bay. To a, a set pin hole. 100, uh, 279 yards away. <clears throat> Let's go to this bait. This is what I call the fairway bait, or it's basically called B17. So let's go back, play test, play hole. And this is basically just your kind of bog standard. You don't need to hit a driver off here, you could hit any club you want. We could actually run those uh, same club scenarios that we did previous. Um, we could do it on here, but this is hitting on fairway. In fact, let's just Let's actually select the the five iron because this will be quite an interesting test. These um, will not be what I think a normal speed or normal firmness. So let's actually just see how much roll we get. And it should go in 192, which it does. And 200 and 202 yards. 
So it, it's almost playing the same as like medium pace greens. Uh, the distance you get, we could probably up that firmness, and we we'll probably get another three yards added onto that potentially. Um, but really, the, the key to this game is actually in your your uh, approach play is more important. So I'm I'm going to show you some ideas that I come up with for um, fairway or the B seventeen ideas. Now again, you can do a lot of things here. I mean, the world is your oyster. Um, you could do, you could do what we did before with uh, just bringing the land up and making like parts to hit. Uh, for instance, let's, if I, let's just go. I was going to put a tree, but let's sculpt land. Let's go about a hundred yards from the tee box. That's good there. So let's go landscape for and let's pick let's pick this. Now this will probably simulate a tree, but this is probably actually better. Let's just put the height in this up. Now I'm not getting the, the graphic coming up. So let's go there. Let's 40 foot I think should be enough for this test purpose. Now we can actually go to the side of that and you'll probably see what I'm trying to do here. Let's pop that up there. Right, let's go back. Let's go to the side. We just need to go, yeah, pop it there. So we've not changed the height. We've done 40 foot and we've just moved it. We've made three kind of hills. So, oh, did that go in? That didn't go in. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right, get it in there. Now, you'll probably see what I'm going to do here. Let's go back. Let's go to play test and play hope. So, what we've got here, this scenario is basically going to be drawing the ball and fading the ball through these these markers here. So you can probably see there, we've got the driver. We could we should have made these higher, but you get the idea. If I probably should have made them maybe 80 foot or 100 foot. And basically what we're doing is we're just playing through these gaps. I wish I'd made them higher because we probably would have actually had to sort of thread it through that, that, that narrow gap, that narrow, narrow channel. Uh, it's probably advisable to put some form of a marker out here. But that just shows you things you can do. Um, in fact, probably for the fade shot, we'll, we'll do something a bit kind of different for the fade. We'll, we'll do it. We'll... Uh, We'll bring it down a bit, we'll fade it over, so we need to get it be between that, and there you go. You know, we're actually putting it through, now we should have made those higher, but if you are doing it, you could put trees as well. Trees trees are probably actually uh, probably a better thing to, to use, but I mean really, you can do whatever you want on that, you could put any kind of obstacle you think. Um, you know, it, it's just good to shape shots. Um, as I say, a tree would work there as well. Um, so basically, that's that's that element of it. That's all the kind of shots you can hit, and you can really mix it up as much as you want. Now, I'll quickly cover the the, the, the putt and green scenario. Right, so here's here's the putt and green. So just see, sculpt, sculpt wand and raise. Now, there's so many things you can do here, and there's so many different ideas that you could do. For instance, to make a slope, pick that one for instance, and then let's kind of maybe zoom in a touch. Let's raise this up. Now, there's your height marker. Let's maybe go, like, let's go kind of crazy here and go a foot. Now, you can see that it slopes off a bit. I would probably say that that's probably going to be in the slope. Let's just punch that in. Right, well, I mean, straight away, right, that's probably, I would say that's extreme. You can get more grad, if I let's just, just get rid of that, that's just too undo. 
I don't know, the undo button's not really working on this as, as well. No, it's just quite annoying. Right, let's, let's basically go to another hole because we've kind of goosed that a little bit. Um, where is another hole that is there? Right, so we'll, we'll do some normal break. So landscape raise. This tool here is quite good for breaks. So is this one. We'll use this one instead. So let's actually put the hole between some ridges and let's bring this up. Let's zoom out to get the height. Let's maybe make it eight inches. <coughs> so you can really make that quite extreme. It like maybe raise it up to a foot, foot and a half, two foot. Um, you can really change it up to whatever you want. So we can see there we've actually got some nice break. So let's go back to the tool. Now I can, I can, I can put this anywhere I want. So I want a part that's maybe got a little bit of break on it. Let's maybe go here, come over that hill a little bit. So let's play from here. One button. Play from here, and then we can put. So let's see what we've got. Again, we've got a nice subtle, it's almost like a double breaker. Uh, maybe it's going to come off that way and then double back break kind of thing. 187 foot putt. 19, which is actually almost like a back foot putt. And I've said this before in my, in my putt tutorials, a back foot putt is just... I, I know from 187 foot green that that's going to go about 21 foot, from roughly from there. Let's hit it. We miss. Okay, it goes to 84 foot, to 85 foot. But that's probably half acceptable. Put back. I mean, you probably should make that back easy. And there you go. And that's us actually made a green. Now, you can choose any shape. I mean, there's, there's no, like, there's basically no law that states that you must only go certain distances up to do a uh, putting green elevation change you can you can do whatever you want <clears throat> I mean you can go absolutely nuts crazy uphill putts crazy downhill putts um, crazy breaks I mean I'll just go back to this one hole too and I can say right you know what let's uh, let's raise this up let's just go absolute like, insanity let's maybe pick this one Select it and let's go three foot of an inches. Now this is the extreme end of the, the, the kind of putting scenario. But it's really just to show you how absolute nuts you can get this. Oh excuse me while I kinda of sniffle here. Alright, let's uh in fact let's 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 zoom in here and I mean look at this. This that, I mean this would be absolute nuts. So let's actually play from here. Oh, I keep doing that, keep them back, right? Play from here. Now this is probably like you probably never put this because this is just ultimate extreme. So as you can see there, we're putting to this, and we could actually make this bigger, so we could actually make it more like accentuated, if you know what I mean. Um but oh, the, the, I mean this is just this is pretty extreme. It's a 30 foot pot, it's 18 inches up. I'm actually just going to guesstimate the slope. Um, maybe roughly there. And you can see what I mean. I mean, that is. That's like crazy golf stuff. But that's really just. And you can see there that actually there's that much of a slope. But that just shows you just how crazy it can get. And look at this. I mean, you'd never have this putt on, on, on a golf course. <laughs> I mean, that would never happen. Uh, but for putting that, that's not really something you would actually practice, putting that, to be honest. Um, you would probably, if you're using that, that tool, you would probably actually go you would potentially actually, let's, uh, 
let's go to this hole. You would actually use something more along the lines of if you were using that one, you would probably expand it out to something like this and do the same. And that would give you quite an undulating green. If you zoom in there, you know, it, it's you can see where there's actual and this is quite good for, for actually building a green. You can actually find a place and say, right, I'm going to put my green maybe over here and find out where the soap is. But that's that's another shape tool you can use and that actually does give you quite a nice bit of undulation. And that's how I actually do my, my, my greens on my big courses because there's just you can actually you can you can vary it so much. So that's kind of roughly um, the test area and the stuff you can do. I've went through scenarios that you probably can you can you can really mix it up and do whatever you want. This here is going to become a custom hole. Now, I've got plans for this about, you know, dropping in some fairway here and then making out bunkers and just customising holes. If you've got a hole that you want to practice, you know, you can make a, a different hole. But I'm going to use that. That might be a separate video that I'm going to do for that. But what I'm going to show you now is we've done all this stuff. Now, instead of just deleting this off, all we do is is exit. Now, in the, the instruction video that I did to make this um, test range, I said save the video, uh, save the course here and that's like you you always be able to go back to that. So if I open it back up, edit, I'll go back in and all those hills, all the changes that I've made will be gone and we're actually back into bog standard flat. And we can we can go back in and customize the drills that we need. So this area is good for practicing chipping, putting, driving, seeing how far clubs go on greens, see how far uh, certain clubs go on fast greens, medium greens, slow greens. Uh, we can test what kind of bounce we get. We can put a slope in to a green and hit to it and see what kind of slope we get and how it affects. I mean, this is like oh, like like, a, like uh, test dummies that. This is like a, a, a place where you can come and practice so many different techniques. If I wanted to, I could drop fairway in here. I could play behind this tree to this hole. Uh, I mean, it basically, it is, it's just endless possibilities that you can do from here. You can drop bunkers in here. I could, hit to, I could go to B12 with my my iron and actually put, make a, a long path three. I could drop bunkers in here and try and get it right. Put some soap in the green. I can make, make a dummy hole here. I can make a dummy hole there. I can make a dummy hole here. I can make a dummy I, there, There's so many things that I can do. Um, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much a blank canvas. You can do so much. So anyway guys, I want to keep this video kind of semi short, but this is how you can actually customise your own practice driving chip putting area. And it kind of cancels out the the putting area I made. This is your putting area now, but you've got uh, bees to hit from. You can hit certain scenario shots. Um, so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's really a thing that you should build. In fact, one thing you can actually do is, uh, wait till I see, take this. In fact, try and go all the way to the end of this. Th this was just the plumb line that, that, that we put down. Where does it end? There it is there. So I could probably highlight that. Just clear all the, the distance markers. You don't need them. So there you go. And that's us. We've got our own custom test range. Anyway, people, I hope you found that interesting. Put it in, in your course editor and use it and practice from here because this is the best way to practice. You can do so much more than you can do with the standard practice range uh, and use this all the time. So hope you found this video useful. As I say, I'll put a link in the, the description. If you, are, if you happen to open this video and you want to know how to make it, 
the 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 link will come up some point here to that previous video and how to make this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.